Deco High Definition Wi-Fi Security Camera DCL uh, sorry DC5L so this camera does sense motion and turn itself towards the target automatically you can disable that function as well um, you've got loads of different uh, settings pretty good pretty good and it's fairly straightforward to install as well you got uh, installation guide full installation guide and also you got a quick setup really explaining step by step um, but I'll go through that anyway so one of the things you will need to have is this uh, cloud edge uh, app on your phone on your smartphone I already have one of these um, cameras installed so I have that already installed there cloud edge now if you don't just go into if you got Android go to Play Store or there you go it's there I already got it it says as open uh, also works for iOS or Apple so install that and while that is getting installed get your camera out of the box that's the camera it's fairly big as you can see compared to my hand it's a decent size you will need a few little things for the camera one of them fixing kit and adapter power adapter and some storage memory 128 gigabytes is the maximum this camera can actually take what it can support and um, it has to be formatted to FAT32 now good thing is you can do formatting whilst it's inside of the camera via the app so just gonna open this up because one of the first things before you turn the camera on you'll have to um, insert this little TF card on the bottom of the camera is a little rubber rubber bank quite thick I cut my nails so I can't really get it out easy and uh, then we insert our little TF card in push it in until it clicks and right next to that it's your reset button okay so at this point don't close that bank that lid leave it there as it is also there's a little tape remove that now the next thing whilst your phone is still downloading or setting up uh, setting out the app cloud edge we need to turn the camera on so plug the power adapter in the wall and plug the camera in don't look into the camera because it's got really bright light first time I died in my life it really <laughs> blinded me and then it will do its own set out thing uh, motion thing where it's going to find all the uh, limitations just lift it off, off the table so it does without uh, 
any obstructions. Now you can see the little red, red LED flashing there. So that means camera is now ready. So now we go, we go to our phone and to our app. I'm just gonna open it this way, Cloud Edge. Uh, I'll do this later on. So you will have, if you just download this app, the first thing you'll have, you have no cameras there, you will just say no cameras, add more. I got this little plus button here, so I'll press that, add device. Now you'll have, just, I think the light is, uh, I need to adjust the lighting on my phone, might be too bright. Yes, that might be better. Right, now you'll come to this page and you'll have to click on um, power plug camera because you've got battery camera, smart doorbell and so on. So you click on that. Now don't look at the pictures, look on readings for this camera you'll need to go on the top one on the left hand side which says smart camera 2.4 uh, gigahertz Wi-Fi power on the device okay now it, t it tells you there power up device and wait until the light turns red and blinks we already did that so next Please reset the device by holding now it says Press the reset button. That's why I said to you don't close that little lid because you'll have to press the reset button. I'll just take my scissors and just press it for a few seconds until you hear the sound. Now it's going to reset and do the same thing what it did earlier with the flashing light and everything and moving around. Okay, that's done. Now we go back to our phone. We click next. Then it says um, it it will show there your Wi-Fi that you can connect to, and then it will ask you to enter the password. Now I already entered the password in, as you can see there. So with the little dots so if you don't if you're doing it first time you'll have to enter password or select your Wi-Fi if you live in a dense Wi-Fi dense area you can pick up your neighbors then you have to select yours and enter the password I got my BT thing here and it's there and then we just do next again asking you to check and make sure it's all correct and then once you do once you do that you'll have to click next you'll get this QR code that you'll have to face it towards the camera and you heard that sound that means camera has recognized QR code and then you wait for well camera to go via Wi-Fi and the phone to actually connect all together once that happens the camera will stop flashing red and it will flash solid blue oh sorry not flash just a light solid blue light and it will tell you there that is all good and then you can uh, go next at this point uh, you'll have to take your phone and your camera so unplug it and then plug it back in 
close to location where you want to install it to check for network. It's going to run network diagnostic when I press, press button next. So let's take camera to close by where I'm going to install it. So it will be just an outside of the front door. So I'm going to plug it in there. So camera will go here. My Wi-Fi box is on the other side of the house. Now I'm just going to hold it because as soon as you put power back on, it does all that flash the light and then try to reset all the motions. So I'm going to take a few seconds. I mean, camera is all set up now to your network because it flashes blue, oh sorry, light, blue light down the bottom, as you can just now see there. And let's run network. Just checking now. Checking now. Yeah. Signal is normal. And you can see that's me with the camera and my phone taking picture from that camera there. So I'll just yeah, the volume is down on the phone now, so it doesn't interfere. Now that's all set. So all I have to do now is actually physically uh, fix the camera to, to the wall and run the cable to the socket. Simple as that. That's a full installation on your Deco smart camera. And at that point, if we go next, you can see camera is there. And if you click on the little, that little pen sign on the right hand side, you can rename it. So I'm just going to rename it from its serial number to porch. Next I can see both of my cameras are showing there. Well the side of the decking and then the porch one. It's this one and we can we can wave to it. <laughs> there you go. Let's go Let's go back on the app. So if you go and press history, it will tell you that you cannot get SD card info. Press on there and then it says it needs to be formatted. Whoops. Then you press format, press OK. It will take a few seconds to format the card because it needs to be formatted to uh, FAT32. 26%, 28%, it's going on. And then you'll see it when formatting is complete, it will be button done. Press that, and then you'll have history as well. Then you can adjust here from standard definition to high definition. I'll put on high definition. You got settings up on the very top corner there. If you press settings, you can choose all sorts of things, and you got here motion tracking that comes off as standard. So you need to click that on, and then as you move in front of the camera, camera will actually turn turn around and follow the person who is on target. Um, yeah, you can change light settings, you can change uh, alarm management, device share, image settings. Um, how you're going to receive notifi notifications. You can change motion detection from... All the best guys. Hopefully you'll have smooth installation.